So Igor over at Igor's lab has managed to confirm the GTX 1660 Super's clock rate as well as the memory standard it will be shipping with, allowing us to get a very good idea of how the theoretical performance of this upcoming Nvidia GPU is going to stack up against the likes of the AMD RX 5500 XT. So in short, the Nvidia GTX 1660 Super is going to beat the AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT but not a possible RX 5600 XT, however that card is only a rumor at this point. The problem, as many of our viewers would remember, is that NVIDIA's standard GTX 1660 variants supports only GDDR5, and considering AMD's Radeon RX 5500 is launching soon with the GDDR6 and is clocked at roughly 1.7 GHz, this would mean NVIDIA's vanilla GTX 1660 would stand little chance against the RDNA powered competitor in red. The answer, it turns out, is to equip the card with GDDR6 memory as well. With memory clock rising to 14 gigabits per second from the mere 8 gigabits per second and a boost clock that is much higher than the succeeding GTX 1660 Ti, the 1660 Super offers 94-96% to 96 of the performance at a much lower price. And we even found in the past that overclocked the memory on our GTX 1660 provided quite the boost to performance, so this all does make sense. In terms of specifications, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super would utilize the TU-116-300 die, same as the existing GTX 1660, and it would feature the same core configuration of 1,408 CUDA cores, 80 TMUs, and 48 ROPs. For more on these topics as well as others, feel free to follow the links in the description below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.